Brahmo. Sir, is it good to worship God with form and image of the deity made of clay? Master, you do not accept God with form. That is all right. The image is not meant for you. For you, it is good to deepen your feeling toward your own ideal. From the worshippers of the personal God, you should learn their yearning. For instance, Sri Krishna's attraction for Radha. You should learn from the worshippers of the personal God their love for their chosen ideal. When the believers in the personal God worship the images of Kali and Durga, with what feeling they cry from the depths of their souls, Mother, Oh Mother, how much they love the deity. You should accept that feeling. You don't have to accept the image. Brahmo, how does one cultivate the spirit of dispassion? Why don't all attain it? Master, dispassion is not possible unless there is satiety through enjoyment. You can easily cajole a small child with candies or toys. But after eating the candies and finishing its play, it cries, I want to go to my mother. Unless you take the child to its mother, it will throw away the toy and scream at the top of its voice. The members of the Brahmo Samaj are opposed to the traditional guru system of orthodox Hinduism. Therefore, the Brahmo devotee asked the master about it. Brahmo Is spiritual knowledge impossible without a guru? Master Satchidanand alone is the guru. If a man in the form of a guru awakens spiritual consciousness in you, then know for certain that it is God the Absolute who has assumed that human form for your sake. The guru is like a companion who leads you by the hand. After the realization of God, one loses the distinction between the Guru and the disciple. That creates a very difficult situation. There the Guru and the disciple do not see each other. Footnote Because the aspirant realizes at that time, the oneness of existence and hence does not perceive the separate existence of the teacher. Footnote ends. It was for this reason that Janaka said to Shukadeva, Give me first my teacher's fee. If you want me to initiate you, into the knowledge of Brahman. For the distinction between the teacher and the disciple ceases to exist after the disciple attains to Brahman. The relationship between them remains as long as the disciple does not see God. It was dusk. 
some of the brahmo devotees said to the master perhaps it is time for your evening devotions master no it isn't exactly that one should pass through these disciplines in the beginning later one doesn't need the rituals of formal worship or to follow the injunctions <laughs>